What's up guys, Tom here from Metal Loud, and we are at the conclusion of the Every Time I Die review series. This time we're going to be taking a look at 2014's From Parts Unknown. Holy fucking shit, this album is heavy. This is definitely the heaviest album that they have ever produced. And we know they were kind of leading up towards this with uh, Gutter Phenomenon being a definite change in style for the band from that kind of chaotic, busy, mathcore style that they started with to the more kind of partycore that we, whatever you want to call it, dirty southern rock that we know. Uh, the Big Dirty was one of the grimiest albums they've ever released. New Junk Aesthetic was still had that heaviness under the surface. I felt like it was just a little lacking due to the production of it. And then you had X Lives, which brought in some new styles for them, especially with the new drummer. And then we get to this album, and it just... The opening track right off the, the start of this, called The Great Secret just hits you with the the blow your fucking brains outline keith buckley just screaming at it he just starts with you know just a few chords and you have no idea what's going on and then he just comes in screaming blow your fucking brains out and, and that just sets up this entire album and despite how heavy it is and despite how kind of crazy this album is at times it still has these melodies and harmonies that really kind of define the band and that's one thing i really love about that uh it, it's you know to a lot of people bands like every time i die sound like just a lot of screaming but underneath all that there's there's rhythm there's just so much going on that you kind of have to go below the surface to really appreciate uh this band and, and particularly this album as also despite how heavy it is this album manages to somehow feel up beat now it gets dark at times but there's still this kind of lightheartedness uh, about all of it some of the songs really feel like they'd be right at home played at like some house party or something uh, songs like decaying with the boys or thirst kind of these really uh interesting punk feel to them is what i really like about those songs they were actually uh the singles that they kind of released the videos that they released leading up to this album as well and you know they sound like everything we expect from every time i die which also was exemplified by the song exitorium which really sounds like something more off of uh x lives the big dirty for instance it's kind of got that style that kind of griminess to it and it's one of the reasons i really like that song off of this album now despite all the heaviness and despite some of the griminess that this gets into there is actually some experimentation on here and some just really weird moments and particularly the song called more which starts out with this out of tune or off-key piano just playing one note over and over again and keith buckley is kind of uh just these singing these haunting vocals and 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 then it just all of a sudden just there's this outburst of energy and it just explodes to this track and it it's again grimy it's grungy uh, it's kind of sludgy and it's it's one of the more interesting tracks probably the most interesting track that they have ever written uh finding out on this album and it's really nice to listen to once you kind of get past the the, the weirdness of it um you have the, bringing back some of the chaoticness of of the band songs like if there's room to move and things will move which is just all over the place with the drumming and the guitar work and it, it it's reminiscent of their first two albums and yet it still feels more cohesive than anything on those two albums it, feel, it doesn't feel as busy it doesn't feel quite as harsh as those two albums either and that's something i really kind of enjoy on this as well so really from parts unknown just like it's just an auditory barrage throughout this entire album that that only lets up in a few places i mean the beginning of more is is a little bit quieter but again that song just explodes out of nowhere uh there's a song called old light which is probably my least favorite song off this album um which kind of feels more like a straightforward rock song which is weird to say about anything that every time i die has done but it, that's how it sounds to me and i don't particularly enjoy it that much but it does have some of that brevity it, it is more it's lighter than anything else on this album which kind of i guess does help break it up a little bit otherwise it would just be 
kind of hard to listen to at times, for at least for a lot of people, just because of how straightforward and heavy it is. I mean, this is like listening to this album the first time I describe it, I immediately texted one of my friends and said my face just melted. That's how heavy this album is, and I mean, that's why I it's it's definitely up there for me for every time I die. Again, I've I've discussed my likings of the albums definitely a big dirty is my all-time favorite but this is certainly up there because this really it's a definitely a, a new direction kind of it almost feels like they took the style that they played with in gutter phenomenon that uh, again more lighthearted and uh kind of punk style and just turned up the heaviness with the blast beats and stuff like that and these uh, really heavy guitar riffs on here and I, I like that. That really kind of sounds like every time I die. So I'm definitely excited to hear what they're going to be doing in the future. But this one kind of blew me away when I listened to it. From Parts Unknown, great Every Time I Die album. So that concludes, for now, the Every Time I Die review series. Thank you guys so much for watching these. Uh, I'm going to try to do more review series in the future. And I will be reviewing the new Every Time I Die album, Low Teens, once it comes out and I can listen to it and give you guys a uh, thorough review on that. But again, thank you so much for watching this. If you have any recommendations for bands that I should do review series on, where I go through their entire discography and just go through each and every album to talk about them, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more.